From Mouseketeer to Bonafide Pop Princess. Britney's a multi-million dollar music sensation. So now that she has money to burn, what is she buying? Many things, including a few unmentionables, according to editor-in-chief of Cosmo Girl magazine, Atusa Rubenstein. Britney is all about being sexy and girly, so one place you will always find her shopping is Victoria's Secret. Recently, she had the store shut down, and she bought five bags full of all this lingerie and little nighties all for herself. Now there's a visual. Mm -hmm, I thought you'd appreciate that. But to be cute and street legal, Brit shops at high-end boutiques, and Lisa Klein is one of her favorites. Brittany comes in when she's in LA, when she's not working, and she always comes in with an entourage of all her peoples. A lot of times, you see Brittany in the magazine, she's always wearing a hat. And a lot of the hats she gets from here. This is one of them, motorcycle cap, which she, I think this is one of her favorite styles. This hat retails for $90 and it's cotton. Another must-stop shop for Britney is the Los Angeles boutique Horn. Owner Susanna Zanker gives us the scoop on one of Brit's recent shopping sprees. Britney came in on a Saturday afternoon, like around lunchtime, with her bodyguard, and she was just on a shopping spree. This is a silk top that um, Britney picked it up at, uh, from Milan, and it's $625, and she looked fantastic in it. <laughs> This is an item Britney picked up. It's a hot pants. They're very low waisted. She had a great butt on them. And they're made from Goa, $98. And she also got from the same line Goa those cargo pants. They fit super cute on her. It's also hand painted and they're $178. And another item Britney fell in love with is this halter dress. Comes in all these fun colors. It's $138. When it comes to shopping, Brittany doesn't even have to be in the store to do some serious damage. Yep, in this case, all she needed was a credit card and a cell phone to purchase her first Poppy Harris tank. Brittany was in a salon in Beverly Hills, and she stopped a uh, girl wearing a Poppy tank. And she stopped her. She said, oh, my God, I love that top. Where can I get it? Um, and then immediately left, got into her limousine and phoned the studio and ordered 10 tops, six for herself and four for her friends for Valentine's Day. Brittany's favorite tank is the Chocolate Plunging V Tank. It retails for 110. And when it comes to evenings out, Brittany doesn't mind dropping thousands. Or dropping names like Jimmy Choo, Matthew Williamson, and Versace. She loves wearing Versace. She showed up to their show wearing an over $20,000 spangled Versace dress. And you know you've arrived when your accessories are just as luxurious as your gown. Brittany loves Lana Mark's handbags, and boy, are they expensive. She's got this one terrific silver alligator one with pink jewels that cost $20,000. Brittany does not just wear any Movado watch. She's got a pink lizard diamond one that costs thousands of dollars. But Brittany doesn't always have to drop the big bucks for her fashion favorites. Publicist Emily Olson gives us the scoop when Seven Jeans set up camp at the Sundance Film Festival. We did it in association with Matt Cosmetics, so it would be a full stop shop. At the festival, it was a big deal that Britney Spears was there, and it was, you know, she was sort of being swarmed everywhere she went. So we decided to do something a little bit different and have um, close the house and have her come through. She tried on some jeans and showed those to her. We had the Matt Cosmetics set up for her, and she got those. She took home three pairs of seven jeans, which average around $140 each. She took home a Grimaldi watch, which was priced around $2,000, and matte cosmetic bag with the cosmetics in it, of course, around $100. Brittany was very appreciative of everything. Expect nothing less from the pop diva. But we discovered that one of her favorites can only be found in her hometown. Tucked away in this unassuming shop called Connie's. These are the fairy collections by design. They run anywhere from $15 to $30, and this is probably one of her favorite collections. This is a butterfly stained glass lamp with the fairy in the middle, and as you can see it's pink again and these run $39. She has these probably in every bedroom she has and she has at least 10 of them. Despite a black belt in spending, even million dollar Brit can get carried away. Luckily her longtime bodyguard Big Rob was there to bail her out. One of the funny stories about Brittany is Brittany was once shopping here at Barney's in New York. Brittany hands over one credit card, salesperson comes back and says I'm sorry it's been declined. Brittany hands over another credit card. That one's the client. So who comes to the rescue? But of course, Rob. Rob whipped out one of his own credit cards. Apparently, Brittany pays him anywhere between seventy dollars and $100,000 a year. Nice. But since Brittany and Big Rob are taking an extended break from each other, she'll have to find someone new to watch over her. Especially when she's club hopping. The Lounge and Joseph's are her personal favorites in L.A. And Lot 61 and Sweet 16 are Brit's hot spots in New York. Club manager Matthew Strauss says they always know when Brittany's about to arrive.
her uh, head of her security will give you a call personally and let us know she's coming down, how many people, and uh, what she wants to drink. We'll uh, take care of the tables and set everything up, which is this area right over here. She likes it back here. It's a private area for her. It gives her a lot of space to dance and can still be kind of private. And we have her walk through the back door, which is right over here. It's masked by this curtain. Now that's VIP service. Hey, they know Brittany is there to have a good time and spend some serious cash. When Brittany comes in, it's, uh, it's oftentimes no holds barred. Nothing is going to get in the way of them having a good time. Well, the bar tab can run there from anywhere from three, four hundred up to a couple of thousand dollars as well. A tip on that can be anywhere from two hundred up to a thousand. She's a very generous girl. Club manager Gordon Adams says Flo is also one of Britney's hot spots. Follow me, I'll give you a tour of one of Britney's favorite spots. So this door is always locked because not everybody's coming through this door. And now we are into the back room, our VIP at Flo. Sometimes their table will have a bottle of vodka at the table. It depends on who she's with and what they're gonna do. She was supposed to show up one night for Justin. He had us hold a table for her all night right beside his table, and she completely blew him off. I actually got the call that she wasn't gonna come in, but I just didn't have the heart to break it to Justin that night. Aside from being a heartbreaker, Brittany is still down to earth. Especially when she returns to her favorite hangout, Nyla's, for some down-home Southern food. She's the same Brittany. Most of the time when she comes home, she'll make one trip by here. Brittany likes to grill chicken and vegetables, mustard greens, um, the salads, sweet potatoes. Mustard greens and sweet potatoes. Mm -mm, good. That's a mighty fine eating. Coming up, what $110,000 item helped mend Brittany's broken heart? It's all about that.